out now is going to be your Eco Limited Modifieds. The four, that's Abby Wilkerson. The three is Levi Wilkerson. Tuners on the track now. That's Bondi Cannon. Coming up next is going to be the qualifying for the late models. They get through, uh, two laps. They'll do a warm-up lap. They'll come around and take the green flag. Come around one time. That's one lap. Make them take the white flag. Come around and take the checker flag. Go with the fastest time. It's going to be Dawson Stewart out of Coffin, Texas in the 20X. Now it's going to be the 19M of Colby Moore out of Springtown, Texas.
now take the green flag. That's Kobe Moore in the back. Looks like he's having a little trouble with the handling there. I'll have to get that set up a little better. First lap was a... See if our tanks have to step his up in. Seventeen four eight seven. Excuse me, seventeen nine seven. Point five three. This has a carry line in the ZZX. Seventeen six two was the second. Eighteen four nine was her second lap. Probably all comes down to take his Victor Green flag. Not on the track now. Definitely the falling by. Seventeen one seven eight was his second lap. Here comes Phil taking that green flag. Seventeen five eight. Seventeen is Bobby High. 
Got Bill Lane to take the checker flag. Seventeen two four two. He stepped it up a little bit there. Looks like he had a little smoke. He's going to abort that second lap. Coming on the speedway now to do his qualifying. His transponder wasn't picking up while it goes. This is Jim Moon. He'll take the green flag. Sixteen four five. Second lap's going to be a At this time, we'd like to ask everyone to please rise. Gentlemen, remove your hats as we honor God and our country. Let us pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come again at this time. Lord, thank you for this day, Lord. And this, Lord, we just ask you, thank you for your many blessings, Lord. We ask you to be with us as we enjoy our favorite sport tonight, Lord, of dirt track racing, Lord. We just ask you to watch over us, guide us, direct us, and protect us, Lord. We ask you to be with every driver, owner, sponsor, pit crew member, Lord, each and every official, and the staff here at the track, and especially those in, those fans in the stands, Lord, we ask you to just watch over us, guide us, direct us, and protect us, be with our veterans wherever they're at today, Lord, Father, save our great nation, Lord, we ask you to be with our first responders, just go with us through the remainder of the day, watch over us, lead, guide, and direct us, protect us, we'll be careful to give you the praise, for the precious name of Jesus, I pray, amen.
Y'all ready for some dirt track racing here? Big old Speedway, America's hometown Speedway. Coming on the track first is going to be your Eco Limited Modified Heat Races. Eight laps the distance. The first heat race is going to be the 22T of Tyler Murhead on the pole. Tyler comes out of Maybank, Texas. Next him is going to be the 4D of Devin Bowles out of Italy, Texas. Row two is going to be Josh Baker in the 01. Out beside him is going to be Jack Sutton in the 20 out of Ennis. Row three is going to be Charlie Alder in the 97 out of Scurry. Beside him is going to be Gavin Smith out of Palmer, Texas in the 15. That's the lineup. Eight laps of distance. This is your Eco Limited Modified Heat number one. Well, is everybody ready to enjoy the Buddy Sellers Memorial Night of Racing here at Big Old Speedway? Well, we got a minute. I'm going to say a few things. Uh, I've watched Buddy race a long time. And one night out at the uh, well, was, folks, it's been 45 years ago, so my memory may not be that great, but that's how I remember it anyway. Uh, well, they had on Sundays in like February and March they always had practice out at the, at the track sports on Speedway but they never watered it down. They just let you come out there and practice your car. Well the first week Buddy and Jerry was out there and they didn't have a car. They said don't wait, we, don't worry we got one coming. Well the next week they came out they had that coupe. I don't know if any of y'all remember the 150 coupe but that thing would fly. We was going around the track and all of a sudden the green light and the green flag came out he hit that thing coming out of two, and he threw a rooster tail of dirt and rocks all the way over the, the wall and into the alligator pit and everything else went around. Back then, they used to let us spectators stand at the gate for the pit when the cars come out. Me and my cousin were standing there, my cousin Earl, and he came around and coming out of four and hit it again, and he threw rocks and gravel and everything else all over all of us. We had it in our mouths and our hat and in our hair. And we knew right then when he put the pedal to that thing, that thing would jump down the straightaway. And uh, Buddy won a lot of races with that car, raced against the big boys, your Eldon Dobsons and the Suggs and everybody else. He wasn't afraid to go anywhere and race anything. And uh, that's what I remember about Buddy. He sure was a good racer and a good, a good uh, am ambassador for the sport. We got the lights out, so we're about to go racing. Green flag in the air, green flag in the air. Tyler yeah. Murray is currently the leader, followed by Devin Bowles, Charlie Alder, and you got Jackson, John Baker. Halfway this time by Port Down Portico. This is your Eco Limited Modified Heat Number One. The first three cars have all won features out here this year, so that's going to—it's a good race there.
Two to go, two to go. Your leader's going into three. We got Charlie Alder one around, your third place car. He saves it, come keep going. We're still green. White flag in the air. White flag in the air. Sutton pulls off. Here comes Tyler Murhead. Gonna get that checkered flag as your winner. That's Tyler Murhead. Devin Bowles. Josh Baker. Charlie Alder went up over the berm again. This young man driving this old one car is 13 years old. Or he may be 14, but he's right in that age group. That's, excuse me, that's Josh Baker. Josh moved up from our Hornets. And then last year he ran in our, two, our uh, Thunder cars. Now he's racing in our Eco Limited Modifieds. Rolling up next is going to be your second heat race for your Eco Limited Modifieds. We got another young man moving up. That's Lane Skinner in the nine. He's on the pole. Lane comes out of Corsicana, Texas. Beside him is going to be Dylan Richards out of Red Oak in the 19R. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you got Ricky Slack in the 23 out of Venice and James Riddle in the 14 out of Crandall. Row three is going to be Randall Harper out of Dallas in the 42 and Keith Burnett out of Palestine in the O. Randall is a descendant of, of Mr. Buddy Sellers as well. That's Randall Harper. <coughs> I apologize, but that's the nine there. That's Lane Skinner. He's 13 years old, a racer. He's one of the ones that moved up from our uh, through the classes, he started out though in Thunder Car and moved up to. He w actually won a championship in the Thunder Cars, a, a track championship. The lights are out. Looks like Randall Harper didn't make the call. We hope he might get to back up, gets ready to go for the feature. All the cars will transfer, and we got a green flag, and we're racing. Like to keep Burnett trying to do a slide job. Almost got into Ricky Slack. Ricky shut off to keep from hitting him. This is just the heat race, folks. If that would have been the last lap and the, it was for first, I guarantee there wouldn't have been nobody shutting down. Here comes Lane Skinner on the inside. He jumps to the inside. He goes past Dylan Richards. He pulls him down into three. We've got a new leader, folks. It's Lane Skinner. cushion a little bit, gets him to get a little bit of moisture, gets a good bite. Four down, four to go, that's your leader right there. He's up there riding that rim where that cushion is. Next time around, he'll get the two to go, two to go. Coming out of four now, Let's take the white flag. So Lane Skinner looks like James Riddle's trying to make a race out of that second place with Dylan Richards. Dylan holds him off. Looks like James is going to try the low line. Dylan's trying the high side to kind of keep that momentum going. Your leader goes into three. He comes out of four. Takes the checkered flag as the winner, Lane Skinner, followed by Dylan Richards, James Riddle. And folks, that's how they finish on the track.
it's not official until they get to the pay window. I just call it like I see it as they cross the checker flag. Coming up next is going to be your Thunder Car Heat Race number one. On the pole is going to be Peyton Bowles out of Italy in the 40. Side hose is going to be the 03 of Dean Cleghorn out of Irving. Then you got the 34 of George Duck 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 Ladocky out of Plainview, Texas. You got Kenny Fiddler out of Maybank in the 15. You got Arthur the Mouse Job out of Chandler, Texas in the zero. You got Gerald Larson Sr. in the 5J. Uh, and you got Eugene Bradshaw in the 2C. That's the lineup. Eight laps of distance. This is your Thunder Car Heat Race number one. Lights out. Next time by, we should be racing. Green flag in the air, green flag in the air. Now Bradshaw's moved up into Peyton Bowles goes around. She keeps it going. Looks like Kenny Fiedler's having problems. Halfway this time by, halfway. going to be Clickhorn, the Ladocky, the Mouse, Peyton Bowles. Two to go this time by. Two more times around Big Old Speedway. Right now, take the white flag. That's your leader, Dean Cleghorn. Here comes your winner, Dean Cleghorn in the 03, followed by, let's see if. Followed by Ladaki, the Mouse, Peyton Bowles, Brad, uh, Eugene Bradshaw. Speedway next is going to be your USRA factory stock heat number one, folks. We've got three heat races for the factory stocks tonight. 
on the pole of the first one. You got Derek Williams out of Wills Point in the 87X. Beside him, you got Ben Brand out of Maybank in the 72. Or row two. Michael Bowles out of Italy in the 40 beside him. The 23W, Christopher Watson out of Venice. Christopher won our feature last night on our. Folks, this is the second heat race for your Thunder cars. Green flag in the air. Green flag in the air. They That's Michael Pataki in the 82. Then you got the 14 of Clinton Bartwell, the 5B of Boy, Boy Larson, the 172 of Jeff Bird, the 44 of Scott Bridges, and the 13 of Blake McHenry. We got three wide. Clinton Bartwell shoots in, out of into three, slides up. Rubs on Pataki. Swapping paint. Pataki, Larson, Bird, what? Birdman, Birdwell. You got Bridges and McHenry. Looks like Boy Boy may have the lead coming out of two this time. Boy Boy is from the Sailor lineage as well. be Larson, Pataki, Bird, Birdwell, McHenry, and Bridges. Two to go this time by. Two to go for your leader. That's Gerald. Boy, boy, Larson. Come around now. Take the white flag. Taki and Birdman, they're going at it for a second. Your leader goes into three. Comes out of four. Takes the checkered flag as the winner, Gerald. Boy, boy, Larson. Followed by the Birdman, Pataki, Birdwell, McHenry, and Bridges. Now, coming up next, it's going to be that USRA factory stock heat race number one. We're going to have three races of these factory stocks in their heats. On the pole, you've got Derek Williams in the 87X out of Wells Point, Texas. Beside him, you got Ben Brandon in the 72 out of Maybank. Row two is going to be Michael Bowles in the 40 out of Italy. 
Row four is going to be Christopher Watson in the 23W out of Ennis. Christopher won our feature last night. Uh, th row three is going to be Roger Chaney in the 113 out of Ferris. Then you're going to have the Mike Massey in the 111M outside of him out of Middle Oakton. Row four is going to be Ryan Barnhart in the 65 out of Kemp. That's the lineup. Eight laps of distance. This is your first heat race for your USRA factory stocks. Like we got a little debris to pick up over there in turn three. Lights out. They come around. If you just look down here in the between three and four, you'll see a cone standing on top of that tractor tire. They have to be side by side by there and continue that till they get around out of four. If the flagman likes what he sees, we got a green light and we're racing. Green flag in the air. Green flag in the air. Knock a bowl's got a good jump there. Michael Bowles, followed by Christopher Watson, followed by Ben Brand, Mike Massey, Roger Cheney. Derek Williams, and Ryan Barnhart. We have Carson on the speedway. We have one on the, out the other side of two. Ben Brand, and he's coming back on the track now. He'll go to the back of the pack. We'll have a restart. We have one lap down. Seven to go here in your first heat race for your... The leader's going to be... Ben Brand had to go to the pits. We hope he gets it fixed. The problem fix get the heck in time to race in that feature. They're getting the one to go this time. Your flagman Rocky Campbell is showing them the one to go. We have one lap down, seven to go. They get over there to that cone on the back straight away, Mr. Bowles decides he wants to go for it. He hits the go pedal and we're racing. Green flag in the air again, green flag.
be halfway this time by. When your leader comes around this time, that's Michael Bowles. He's going to get the halfway. Four down, four to go. Christopher Watson's right on his tail. Yeah, the track's starting to take on some rubber. Please stay back from the fence when the cars are on the track. Two to go this time by, two to go. They're coming up on a lap car. This is gonna affect your leader there. See if he's gonna be able to get by him cleanly. And he does. So does your second place car. Coming around to take the checker flag now is going to be your winner, Michael Bowles in the 40. Followed by Derek, excuse me, by Chris. What? Mike Messi. Roger Cheney. Ryan Barnhart. Coming up next, it's going to be the second heat race for your USRA factory stocks. On the pole, you got Leon McBee out of Maypearl, Texas in the 53. Beside him, you got Nate Dixon in the 10 out of Venice, Texas. Over row two is going to be the 12X of Chance Shelton out of Maybank. Beside him is going to be Tyler Killingsworth in the 45X out of Dallas. Row three is going to be Jason Hood in the 429 out of Rusk. And Tyler Rollison in the 8 out of Middle Lothian. That's the lineup. Eight laps of distance. This is your second heat race for your USRA factory stocks. Well, folks, look across there, across on the back spreader, we see a beautiful sunset. Sun, we have those every week out here at Big O Speedway. America's hometown speedway. Lights out. Green flag in the air. Nate Dixon takes the early lead with Chance Shelton and Jason Hood now in second place. Passing him coming out of two. Give me some four, excuse me. Nate's running that high side using that momentum. Looks like Jason's going to try the low side, shorter way around. You got the 12X, that's Chance Shelton in third. Here comes the 45X of Tyler Killingsworth and the 53 of Leon McBee with Tyler Rawlinson at six. Once again, we thank all those fans tuning in to Race on Texas. Sheldon using that chrome horn on the 45 on the 429. Here comes Tyler Coonsworth in that 45X. The 
race right now is for second. Between the 429, the 45, and the 12. Got the drag race down the back straightaway. Between the 45 and the 429, here comes the 12X. Two to go this time by. Two to go as the 12X goes around. That's Chance Shelton. Is he going to be able to keep it going? Or are we going to have a caution? He fires it up, keeps going. We stay green. Nate Dixon is your leader. He comes out of four. Takes the white flag as Killingsworth and Hood go at it for second now. Looks like Killingsworth may have a little bit of advantage. That's Tyler Killingsworth in second. Jason Hood in third. Leon McBee in fourth. Tyler Watson. Tyler Rawlinson in fifth. And Chance Shelton in sixth. Your leader comes around. Takes the checker flag as the winner. That's going to be Nate Dixon. Followed by Tyler Killingsworth. Jason Hood, Leon McBee, and Chance Shelton. Folks, that's how they finish on the speedway. It's not official to get the pay window. I just call them as they cross the checkered flag. Up next, it's going to be the third heat. He's on the track. He's coming. Coming up next, it's going to be the third heat race for your USRA factory stocks. On the pole, you got Cody Dixon out of Ennis in the two. Next to him, you got Kenneth Fork, Chop Chamberlain in Jacksonville, out of Jacksonville in the 70. In row three, in row two, you got Jerry Claghorn and Irving out in their number three. And the second, I said, you got James Brown out of Forney in the O3. Row three is going to be Tristan McCullough in the 3M out of Crandall, Texas. The side is going to be James Gibson in the 42 out of Louisville, Texas. That's the lineup. Eight laps of distance. This is your second heat race for your USRA factory stocks. Lights are out. They're at the cone. There's the fork chop as your leader. You can't stop the chop. Good race for second right now between James Brown and Cody Dixon. The O3, O3, O3. The is going to be the 70. That's Pork Chop Chamberlain. The two of Cody Dixon is going to be second. The O3 of James Brown is running third. Excuse me. Christian McCullough is running third. Get to halfway this time by halfway. It's going to be Chamberlain, Dixon, 
McCullough, Brown, Gibson, Twin sticks in the air. Twin sticks in the air for your leader. Oh, white flag in the air. White flag in the air. Your leader goes down the back straight away. He goes in two, three. Comes out of four and takes the checker flag as the winner. That's Kenneth Four Top Timberland, followed by Cody Dixon, Tristan McCullough, Dean Claghorn, and James Gibson. Coming up next is going to be the Mini Mods. We're rolling out on the speedway. It's going to be Aaron Shoemaker out of Longview in the 26 on the pole. Beside him, Tom Cayley out of McKinney in the 4C. Row 2 is going to be Dylan Stout out of Bonham in the 56. Row 4, Christian Stout out of Bells, Texas in the 55. Row 3, Taylor Nielsen out of Hewitt, Texas in the 44. Row 6, outside of him is going to be Mike Sager out of Quinlan, Texas in the 81. Brandon Poppy out of Fresno, California is in the T2. That is the lineup. Eight laps of distance. This is your mini mod heat race. Lineup looks good. If y'all follow the Chili Bowl or the Texas Shootout, this is one of the classic cars they run on that track inside the Expo Center. They're getting the one to go from your flagman. That's Landon. Lights out. Yeah, Green flag in the air. Green flag in the air. He jumped up into second place. He came from last to second in one lap. Looks like he might have the lead. Nope. Held off by 26 of Aaron Schumacher. We have a new leader. That's going to be Brandon Poppy in the T2. Looks like the 26th man got his back. 
got a little loose there, come on around almost, saved it, but he did lose a little ground, but T2 jumped by him, but 26 gets back on it, coming around out of four now. Halfway, we got the 44 up, he's up in the free now. That's Taylor Nielsen. He jumps to the inside, he passes them going down the back straightaway. We have a new leader, that's gonna be the 44. Uh, Taylor Nielsen. T2 says, it's not over yet. He goes up high. He diamonds off of that corner, shoots down the back straightaway. We got the 4C having a little problems. Here comes the leader, is he going to be able to clear him? White flag in the air for your leader. White flag in the air for the 44, followed by the 26, and then the T2. That's Taylor Nielsen, Aaron Schumacher, Brandon Poppy. Come around now to take the checker flag. It's gonna be your winner. That's Tyler, Taylor Nelson, followed by Brandon Poppy and Aaron Shoemaker. Scratch that, folks. That's going to be the Hornets. This is going to be their heat race. Six laps the distance. Okay, on the pole, you got the 22 of Cameron Dodd out of Burleson. Next to him, you got the kid out of Princeton, Texas, the O8K. Then you got Gerald Lawson the third out of Eustis, Texas. That's some of that Sailors 5BG. Jordan Gomez in the 90D out of Roy City. Skylar Dix in Eustis, Texas in the 150. That's Buddy Sailors family. Green flag in the air. Bentley Williams out of Minnesota in the 25, Braxton Biggs in the 25X, and Asen Messerschmidt. Gerald Larson III coming up there. Please stand back from the fence when the cars are on the track. Please stand back from the fence. Looks like Cameron Dodd is able to come back past him. Looks like it's going to be Dodd, Larson, the kid, and Skyler. Should be halfway this time, about halfway.
Two to go, two to go. Looks like it's going to be Dodd, Larson, the kid, Dix, and Bentley Williams. Taking the white flag now, Cameron Dodd. Followed by Gerald Larson the third. Followed by the kid. Your leader goes into three. Comes out of four. Takes the checkered flag. Cameron Dodd. Followed by Gerald Larson the third. The kid. Speedway next is going to be that U UMP Weekly Late Model Series feature. James, the Moon Man, Moon's on the pole in the number one. Outside of him is going to be Trey Langley in the 00Z out of Garland. Row two is going to be Sloppy Hog out of Arlington, Texas in the ZZ. Beside him is going to be Wild Bill Lane out of Maybank, Texas in the five. Row three is going to be Colby Moore in the 19M out of Springtown, Texas. Outside of him is going to be Artani McHale in the 21. Row four is going to be Dawson Stewart in the 20X out of Kaufman. Outside of him is going to be Bobby High in the 17 out of Chatfield. Row five is going to be Cooper Tilly in the double O out of Omaha, Nebraska. Then we're going to have the 88 of Richard Cubitz out of Waxahachie, Texas. And then row six is going to be Carol Langley out of Terrell in the ZZX. That's the lineup. 15 laps of distance. This is your ump weekly series of late model Feature. Lineup's good, good. Lights out. Green flag in the air. Manager leader, followed by Sloppy Hog, followed by Trey Langley and Colby Moore. That's the top four as they run on the speedway right now with Ortaning McHale running fifth. 
Wild Bill Lane running sixth. Dawson Stewart seventh. Coop eighth. Carol Langley ninth. And BJ Hyatt. The moon man starting to pass on the lap traffic. He goes by Richard Cubbins. Caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. Line is getting called down to mow the race receiver. We'll get it lined up. We'll go back racing. Lineup looks good. Got called down to mobile race receivers. We'll go down the back way. The lights should go out. When they come by the next time, they will be racing. We have five down, ten to go here in this 15-lap feature for your Ump Weekly Series. Getting one to go this time by, folks. One to go. We had to hold them back for a second there. With a, a green flag in the air, green flag in the air. Trey Langley pulls up on the quarter panel of the one of Jim Moon. Gets him on the low side, coming down the back row. He does a little bit of a slide job, gets up in front of him. You have a new leader. That's going to be Trey Langley. Jim Moon's trying to come up underneath him. Trey Langley shuts the door. They come out of four. They're both trying the low line. That's going to be Moon. Got caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. Trey Langley is your leader, the double O Z. Then you got the one, that's Jim Moon in second. You got ZZZ -Z -Z or Sloppy Hog in third. You got the 21 of Wartanic McHale in fourth. Then you got Bill Lane in fifth. Carol Lang Lee in sixth. 20X of Dawson Stewart. Then you got the 19 M.
That's Colby Moore. Lights out. Trey Langley hits the go pedal. Artanic tries to make a move on the inside. Looks like it's going to be Langley, Moon, a Sloppy Hog, Artanic McHale, Wild Bill Lane. Jim goes a little high, scrubs off some speed. Five to go, five to go this time by. Langley could then use the lead, followed by Jim Moon. Then you got the ZZ of Sloppy Hog. The 19M of Colby Moore, the 21 of Bortanic McKell. Jim moves, go powers by and don't know back straight. Well, we have a new leader. Let's see what happens when they come out of four. Who's going to be the leader? Is it going to be Jim Moon? Could he handle it? Is it going to be the double OZ? No, it's Jim Moon is your leader. Trey Langley says it's not over yet. Two to go this time. Twin sticks, two to go. Coming around to take the white flag. Coming around now to take the checker flag. It's going to be your winner, Jim, the Moon Man Moon. Followed by Trey Langley, Sloppy Hog, Kobe Moore. Coming out of four, the winner, Jim, the Moon Man Moon. Coming up next is going to be your USRA Rendell RV modified feature, 20 laps of distance. On the pole, you got Chad Guest out of Waxahachie, Texas in the 19C. Beside him, you got the 87 of Ryan Williams out of Waxahachie, Texas. Row two is going to be Clint Plemons out in the 81 out of Forney, Texas. Beside him, you got Richard Brown out of Dallas in the 13. Row three is going to be St Stephen Gaddis in the 2S out of Henderson, Texas. Outside him is going to be Greg Morin. In the, out of Sherman, Texas, in the 7K. Row 8 is going to be Ron Morris out of McKinney, Texas. That's the lineup. 20 laps of distance. This is your USRA modified Rendell 
Brought to you by Rendell RV Feature. Well, got a minute. I'm going to thank some of our marketing partners out here, including Rendell RV. They're just a short drive down 45 to Rice, Texas. If you need a new motor home, a new toter, or a new toy hauler, if you need a used one, go down there and talk to Rendell RV. I want to thank Smiley's Racing Products, rockauto.com, Half Tractor Will Travel, Guest Tire, Shelly Smiley York, Virility, Smiley's Racing, Ludicrous Racing, Thompson Construction, I am Sunoco Racing Fuels, Milner. We thank each and every one of them. And folks, also, if you see a driver or a car out there you really like and you see the sponsor on that car, you get a chance to go by and tell the sponsor, hey, we appreciate you helping our drivers get to come out here and race. They're usually small mom and pop operations that will appreciate your business and appreciate you telling them how much you appreciate them helping them on their cars. I guarantee you most of these cars wouldn't be out here today if it wasn't for a sponsorship. The lineup looks good. It's been They'll get bunched up now, going down the back straightaway. Lights out. They hit the go pedal. We're racing. Looks like everybody got out of two. Chad Guest jumps out to that early lead as we have one going around. That's going to be the 2S. We have caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. It's going to be Chad Guest, followed by Richard Brown. Then you're going to have Clint Clements. Then you're going to have the... One down, 19 to go here in your feature. We appreciate everyone tuning in on Race on Texas. Hope you're enjoying your night. We got some more features to go. Come around, they hit the go pedal. We're racing, green flag in the air. We have a new leader, that's gonna be Richard Brown in the 13. It's going to be Brown, Guest, Pelm, Plemans. And then Gaddis. Look like Gaddis had a little rub there. Might have been pushing up a little bit. Rubbing off some speed. Chad Guest goes high this time. He's going to continue to run that high line, trying to use that momentum. Here comes Richard Brown on the low side. He's still your leader. Looks like Brown's got that handling on the bottom. Gas got a handle on the top. They come by door to door at the flag stand. Looks like Brown might have had him up a little bit, but can he hold him off? 
As they go down the back straight away now, they go into three. Coming around to complete lap six. Who's going to be the leader? Is it going to be Brown? Is it going to be Guest? Looks like Guest may have had him out a little bit. As Plemons come in third. Gaddis fourth. The race is still proposed. They go into three. Officially seven laps completed. Going to be your leader, Chad Guest. Folks, there's, right now there's no preferred line. We got cars running high. We got cars running low. We got cars running in the middle. Your leader's running that high line, getting that momentum coming off the top. Second place cars running the short way around. Halfway this time by folks, halfway, 10 down, 10 to go. Year later comes out of four with the 13 right on his tail. You know Chad Guess is feeling the pressure, but he's holding his momentum there, keeping it high. Here comes the 13 on the low side trying to use that short way around. Looks like they're between one and two. 13's able to catch up with him, but Chad's got that momentum coming off the top there. Looks like the same thing in three and four. He uses that momentum to pull him coming out of the out of four. <laughs> Running fourth right now is going to be Stephen Gaddis in the two S. And then you got the 7K of Greg Morin. Coming around, take five to go. Five to go this time by for Chad Guest. It looks like Brown's gonna try to run up there high also. See what he can do, see if he can catch up with him now. Five to go, 10, 15 down, five to go. Here comes your leader. Complete lap 17. That's going to be Chad Guest in the 19th seat, followed by the 13. Uh, Richard Brown, the 81 of uh, Chad, excuse me, Clint Plemons, the 2S of Stephen Gaddis. Coming around, take two to go, two to go, two more times around. Big old speedway for your leader, Chad Guest. Greg Morin is your sixth place car, fifth place car, excuse me. Here comes your leader going around to take the white flag. One more time around Big O Speedway, America's hometown speedway for your leader, Chad Guest. Looks like Clint Fleming is coming up trying to take second place around us. We're going to have a last lap pass. Yes, we do. For second, looks like we're at the 81 in second now. And Richard Brown finishes third with Chad Guest as your winner. Followed by the 2C of Stephen Gaddis, the 7K of Greg Morin. Here he comes out of four. Your winner in the 19C, Chad Guest.
Pulling around now, going into victory lane, your winner for your USA RA Modified, brought to you by Rendell RV Feature. Getting all the safety equipment down, getting ready to climb out of a car. Climbing out now, your winner, Chad Guest. Great race, Chad. I want to thank Nick Noss for the photographs tonight. Thank you, Kaylee. Coming up next is going to be the Interceptor feature. But however, we're going to have Peyton Bowles come out in her Thunder car. She's going to make a couple of laps just to try out some safety on her, see if she got her safety problem taken care of. There goes your winner. Chad is sponsored by Guest Tire. If you uh, need some good tires or wheels, go over on Kaufman Street in Ennis and talk to Chad. Well, it looks like she's got that issue taken care of. I saw the front drop. Okay, coming out now is going to be that interceptor race. That's the 911 of Christina Nold on the pole outside. It's going to be the 88 of George Duck 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 Ladaki. 19 laps of distance. This is your interceptor feature. This is a new class we started out here at Big O Speedway. These are primarily uh, either going to be Grand Marquis or Crown Vicks. They're, most of them are ex-police cars. They usually have four doors. It's a very, you can't say inexpensive way to get into racing because you can't get into racing inexpensively, but this is a lot cheaper, a lot less expensive. They're rolling into three. Green flag in the air, green flag in the air.
Well, once again, folks, tomorrow's racing up the bull ring has been canceled due to inclement weather. It is there's going, it was going to be the Lucas Oil Nash, uh, National Open Wheel 600, but some of them have to travel so far because of the inclement weather coming. They decided to go ahead and postpone it. They're going to let us know when we're going to reschedule that. Now, next Friday night, we will be racing again. We'll be running five classes. And then next Saturday night, we're going to have the Texas Winged Modifieds out here, as well as the Gunslinger Series. And that's uh, any sanctioned and body car that wants to come out and run on this Gunslinger Series can. If they run USRA, if they run um, TOMS, or if they run uh, IMCA, any class, if they come out here, they, they have to declare, declare who they're, what class they run for, what series they run for. They come out here and they run, and it's one time a month, and it's for $2,500. So next week's going to be the week for the Gunslinger Series. We're also going to have a figure eight for the Thunder Cars. Folks, don't forget the concession stands open, ready to serve you. I understand there's no line right now. Coming around the lead lap, number eight's gonna be George Ladaki. Run now, take the halfway. George, duck, 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 Ladaki in the 88. What about Christiana Nold in the 911? Here comes your leader out of four in the 88, George Ladaki. Between the big track here and the bull ring up there and then the back side of this we have a one mile dirt cross track coming up May the 7th we're going to have the side by side racing out here if you missed it uh, a couple of weeks ago man they really put on a show those guys are high flying I'm here to tell you and that's coming up on May the 7th here comes your leader getting the five to go five to go this time by
Y'all get the two to go this time by, folks. Two to go. Coming around now to take the checker flag. Your winner, George Duck 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 Ducky in the 88. Uh, coming up behind him now is going to be Christina Noel in the 911. That's how they finish on the track. Coming around now, your winner, George Laducky. He'll be pulling into Victory Lane there at Big O's backdrop there for Victory Lane, the America's hometown speedway. That is a new backdrop we got this year. It's got a list of all of our sponsors. And big old Speedway. Coming up next is going to be your USRA tuners. 19 laps. Time now to call your winner, George Leducky. George won last night also. I think this is his third or fourth victory. Congratulations, George. Good race. On the pole of this USRA tuner heat uh, fe feature is going to be the 62 of Jonathan Chatterley, brought to you by K&S Tire and Rim out of seven points. Outside of him is going to be the 17W of Bondi Cannon. Brought to you by Auto Pro. It's going to be Chatterley versus Cannon. Green flag in the air. We're racing. Bonnie Cannon leads the first lap.
Bondi County continues to be your leader, followed by Jonathan Chatterley. You know, it's going to be the 17 of Bondi Cannon, followed by the 62 of Jonathan Chatterley. Coming around now is your leader, Bondi. And Cannon. this time halfway down halfway down nine down ten to go Your leader is Bondi Cannon, followed by Jonathan Chatterley. Once again, we thank everyone tuning in on Race on Texas. Cody's the one getting these fantastic pictures tonight for you. Coming around to take five to go. Five to go this time by 14 down, five to go. This time should be two to go, two to go. Mm -hmm. 
White flag in the air. White flag in the air. That's your leader, Bodie Cannon. Your leader goes into three. He comes out of four. Takes the checker flag as your winner, Bodie Cannon in the 17th. Here comes Jonathan Chatterley in the 62. Your second place finisher. There goes your winner, Bodie Cannon, pulling into the victory lane. Okay, folks, if you're here as part of the Sailor family or close friends, we're going to ask that you gather down at the flag stand, below the flag stand, as we get ready after this race. We're going to have the intermission, and we're going to be doing the Buddy Sailor Memorial. So please come down to the base of the flag stand and get ready for the to be interviewed and we're going to talk about Buddy and what all he meant to racing and what he means to dirt track racing in North Texas. Roll on the speedway next. It's going to be your USRA limited modified feature. 19 laps of distance. You got Jack Cathy in the 2C on the pole. Jack's out of Quinlan, Texas. Beside him, you got Albert Abigail Wilkerson in the 4 out of Russ, Texas. Row 2, you got Aaron Davis in the 87 out of Wills Point. Beside him, you got Blake Beggs out of Terrell, Texas in the 23B. Row 3 is going to be Jason Gammis in the 22 double X out of Dallas, Texas. Outside him is going to be Levi Wilkerson in the 3. That's the lineup. 19 laps the distance. This is your USRA limited modified feature. Okay, if Sean Carter is in the stands and he has lost something, please go to the general admission ticket office and identify it, and they will they have it. So that's Sean Carter. If you have lost something, please go to the general admission ticket office and claim it.
especially after the time I saw you and Bryson do it, and he knocked your foot off your ass. Green flag in the air, green flag in the air. Abigail Wilkerson leads them into three. Blake Biggs is right on her tail. And you got the 22 double X of Jameis, Jason Gammas. We had one spin out right there in the top of two. Looks like that's Levi Wilkerson. We have caution on the speedway, caution on the speedway. We got a car in the hot shoe down there. We'll give him a lap to get his situation straight. It looks like he's already got it. He's coming back out. We're good, ready to go racing again. The line has been called down to him over race receiver.
they'll get the one to go this time by folks one to go next time around they'll be racing Lights out. They're past the cone. She can start anytime she's ready. She hits the go pedal. We're racing. Looks like that 23 got a good jump. But Abby's able to hold him off. They go down the back straightaway. The 23 and the 22 are door to door. Looks like she got a good bite that time and she's able to pull a little bit, two or three car lengths. But the 23 goes into three, come, takes a couple of those back. She went up over the bone, she comes around, she taps the back of the 23, he saves it, the 22 comes around, hits the front of him. They go into three. We have a new leader. It's going to be the 22 double X of Jason Gammies. Followed by the 23 of Blake Biggs. The four of Abigail Wilkerson. Then you got the 87 of Aaron Davis and then the three of Levi Wilkerson. That's how they run on the track now, folks. Coming around to complete lap number six. Your leader is going to be Jason Gammis. Followed by Blake Biggs. Abigail Wilkerson. She's up over the top again. She saves it. Comes back on the speedway. And she's going to be able to hold on to third. As the 87 comes up behind, behind her. Your leader continues to be Jason Gammis. Look, folks, I say it every week, that uh, berm can be your friend or your worst enemy. Year later comes around this time. It's going to take the halfway nine down. Ten to go here in your feature for your USRA Limited Modifieds. Blake Biggs is your new leader. He's running the high side. Uh, Jason Gamage in the 22X double X is running the low side. Here comes Abigail Wilkerson. Followed by Aaron Davis. And then Levi Wilkerson. Officially completing lap 13 is going to be your leader, Blake Biggs, followed by Jason Gammes, Abigail Wilkerson, Aaron Davis, and Levi Wilkerson. Five to go this time by five to go, folks, in your USRA limited modified feature.
your leader continues to be Blake Beggs, followed by Three spun out. He's able to save it. That's Levi Wilkerson. Abigail Wilkerson goes by him there. Your leader's about to put the 87 of Aaron Davis down the lap. He comes around. Twin sticks in the air. Twin sticks in the air. Two laps to go. Come around now to take the white flag. It's going to be your leader. Blake Beggs. Your leader goes into three. He comes out of four. And takes the checker flag as the winner, Blake Beggs. Followed by Jason Gammons, followed by Abigail Wilkerson, followed by Aaron Davis and Levi Wilkerson. Okay, folks, we're going to take a brief intermission right now. Uh, everyone uh, that's invo involved with the Sailor family, Buddy Sailor family, please meet underneath the flag stand. We're going to have a little get together and talk about some of the things that Buddy did and share some of the reminiscent of his career as your leader and winner pulls into the victory lane. They changed. have a hold back for just a, we're going to run t a 10 lap race real quick I apologize I was just told you need to get a step back from the fence please hey, off of the fence please Okay, folks, we're going to have a 10-lap grudge race. And then we're going to be interviewing the, the Sailor Clan. Well, right off the bat, we got the 911 going around.
two laps to go here in your grudge race. Well, I want to welcome you all to the Buddy Sailor Memorial Night. We got a bunch of his clan here. Uh, I don't know if, if y'all had the opportunity to see Buddy race back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. But I tell you what, there wasn't any place he wouldn't race. And there was nobody he wouldn't race against. He ran the figure eight. He ran modifieds. I remember one night, uh, I may be telling on him a little bit, but... The, I, I know this to be a fact because I was there. He had a four barrel on his race car and at the time it was kind of illegal. <laughs> Buddy knew that. But Buddy wanted to win. So in the middle of the race they had a red flag in the figure eight because of a wreck. And but believe it or not in the infield they changed that four barrel out and put a two barrel on it and finished the race with a spacer with it sucking air and Buddy still won. He would race anywhere against anybody. He raced Cowtown, Buffalo Park, Crandall, which we called it Thunderbird back then. He raced at, uh, well, let's see, where else? Where at? He raced at Sports Drum. Yeah, Sports Drum, that, that was his track. He had the King of the Hill a couple of times there. Won a bunch of trophy dashes. Anyway, uh, I told the story earlier, but the most impressed I ever was by him, honestly, was a coupe that he had, a number 150. And he brought that car out. He would jump out of the corners. Literally, the car would jump. He'd go in, slide around, mash it to the floor again, and that car would jump out of the corner. Sometimes it didn't always handle, but it always flew. They had some great races back then. I personally think a lot of Buddy Stillers always did. Yeah, he was kind of my hero. I was about 12 the first time I saw him race. Maybe a little younger than that, but the first time I remember. But anyway, we appreciate the family, the legacy they have. We've got Larson's and Harper's and just a big family of racers. We've got a Franklin over there. We got a bunch of family members that race, love racing. Buddy instilled that in them. Like I said, I'm gonna tell you another antidote. And I, this, I was here for this too. Everybody was lined up at the gate outside of Sports Normal because it looked like rain. We was all down there at the bottom of the hill. Sure enough, thunder, lightning started raining. Everybody says, well, Cowtown's still running. So we all jump in our vehicles, hightail it to Cowtown, gets rained out again. So, we went to the go-kart track across from Grand Prairie, right from the across from Sports Drum, if y'all remember it. We raced on the, on the asphalt on slick tires with water, and that was the best time when it had water on it. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up, turn it over to the family. I know they got some stuff they wanna share. Uh, you gonna be talking first, Lisa? Okay, Tracy. Tracy's going to be talking first here. Tell about his um, coupe car, tabletop. I don't remember. It was a tabletop. 
I don't remember. That coupe car was a tabletop. Do you remember yeah. that one? It was, uh, I don't remember. Billy Cream. We'll let Spencer do it Go ahead. We're in bear. I don't remember the car. The, they're all mine. I'll just work this thing on. Okay. All right. Well, um, Buddy Sanders is my grandpa, my hero, my angel. Um, uh, man, I grew up watching him. I just, I, I, I wanted to be like him. Every, every one of us grandbabies did. We play in the, the dirt with our cars, and we all had a 150 car. And uh, you know, when you see us out here racing, we put it in there. We put it in there a little extra, and it's for him. You know, my my grandpa told me if I could, if I could had one story that stuck with me was, he said, "Son, I I wrecked 14 cars in 13 weeks." And, uh, you know, uh, in figure eight, he said, finally they realize uh, I I'm coming through, you know, I'm not going to lift. So, uh, that being said, you know, that's that's my style right there. <laughs> but, um, hey, um, where, where's the rest of y'all at? Who's next? I remember a story about my dad telling us that um, one night that he, the, the race has made him mad and he oiled the upper, uh, going up the track going out of Sports Strong and made everybody stay there because he oiled it and pulled the lights down. Yep. And I remember that story, but and now my son Randall Harper is racing and my dad told him he could run 150 and then he's running his other grandpa 42 James Rule number this year and we're going to keep the spirit going and I appreciate everyone coming out and thank y'all for supporting us and having everything done here you go Lisa Oh, I'm good. They want to talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. really. I, we'll be here all night if y'all want to hear me talk about my dad. I okay. Come on, boys. I got a lot to say. Buddy Sailor's where I got my driving from. <laughs> so. Tell who you are and who Papa is to you. What are you doing? You're Your name is Skyler. I am Skyler, and running the I'm running the 150, and and for my for my papa. And one time he raced on the roof of his car was a tabletop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you. you already went. Man. Already went. Give it to the man. Anyone else? Hey, man, this is y'all's time to celebrate Papa and Dad and Granddad and. Well, we do appreciate them. We appreciate the legacy. Uh, I do want to say one quick thing, too. He was talking about Buddy not stopping at the, at the uh, junction there. to figure out the, uh, the other grandpa involved in this, Jerry Larson, the outlaw, or the Indian, excuse me, he didn't even have brakes. They were an option. They were to put the car on the trailer. And that's the way Buddy felt about it, too. Uh, back then, we could race with just one brake, and a lot of them did. And, uh, but it was, you know, they tried hard. It was back in the day before all these $20,000 motors and all that. A lot of these guys got parts out of wrecking yards. You see them out there on Saturday morning scrounging to find out what they tore up on Friday night, but they made it. They made sure they did. They passed on the legacy to their family. We do appreciate it. This is the backbone of racing family. And this is a piece of Americana. And when you look across the track over there, see that flag flying? Realizing that we are in the land of the free and the home of the brave, and we love our Americana and our dirt track racing. So thank y'all. We're going to get going back with our races here in just a second. Let's give the Sailor family a big hand. We thank y'all, and we thank you for the legacy y'all are carrying on. Thank you, Dion.
Rolling, rolling on the speedway next for their feature is going to be your Hornets. This is a learning class. This is your 10 to 17 year olds. They're going to be running 10 laps. On the pole, you got the 22, Cameron Dodd. Outside him, you got the 5 BG of Gerald Larson. You got the 08K of the kid in row two. Outside, you got the 150 of Skylar Dix. Row three is going to be the 25 of Bentley Williams. Outside him is going to be the 25X of Braxton Beggs. Row four is going to be the 90D of Jordan Gomez. Outside him is going to be the 88 of Aiken Messerschmidt. Aiken in the 88 is racing for his grandpa, which is, if you remember, it's going to be Eddie Prater. That's why he runs the number 88. That was Eddie's number. We got a no start, a no start. But it is Eddie Prater's birthday, and his grandson, Aiken Messerschmidt's running for him tonight. Please stand back from the fence when the cars are on the track. Please stand back from the fence when the cars are on the track. Green flag in the air, green flag in the air. We got a good race for first right now between Joel Lawson the third and the 22 of Cameron Dodd. Cameron tries the high side. Looks like he's going to be able to use the momentum to go around him on the outside. Your new leader is Cameron Dodd, followed by Joel Lawson the third. Then you got the 88 of Aiken Messerschmidt. 150 trying to slide job. The ADA comes back running the 5B of Gerald Larson Sr. Spun a little bit, lost his momentum. He's able to save it and come back around though. He's back on the track and racing. <laughs> Looks like Skylar Dix. And Aiken Mr. Smith are race, racing hard for second here. We have caution on the speedway. Your leader is going to be the 22 of Cameron Dodd. The 150 of Skylar Dix is in second. 88 of Aiken Mexico Smith is third.
Looks like the 88 had some mechanical problems. Couldn't get it fired back up. He's in the pits now. Your leaders, Cameron Dodd in the 22. Then you got the 150 of Skylar Dix and the 5BG of Gerald Larson the third. That's an all buddy sailor back row. They'll get one to go this time by. Your flagman, Rocky Campbell's getting one to go. We've got four down, six to go here in your 10 lap. Hornet feature. They hit the go pedal, we're racing. We got a new leader, that's gonna be Gerald Larson the third as he takes the short way around. Cameron Dodd says, I got something to say. And he's trying to upside on the outside. They go down the front straightaway. Who's it gonna be at the flagman? They go down the back straight away. Cameron's trying that momentum off the high side. They're door to door going into three. They come out of four side by side. They drag around the front straight away. Looks like Cameron may have had him but just a fender. We had a little rubbing on the back straight away there. Cameron's able to hold on to it. Cameron Dodd continues to be your leader. Followed by Gerald Larson III, followed by Skylar Dix. You'll get the two to go this time by, folks. Two to go, two more times. We're in a big old speed way to determine the winner of your Hornet feature tonight. Coming around this time. Is Joel Larson the third gonna have a chance? He pulls up beside him. White flag in the air, white flag in the air. Your leader shoots down the back straight away. With the 5BG of Joel Larson the third right on his tail. They come out of four. Your winner is going to be Cameron Dodd.
And the victory lane now is going to be your winner, Cameron Dodd. Coming up on the speedway next is going to be your equal limit to modified feature. There's your winner, Cameron Dodd. Congratulations, Cameron. Good race. Let's give him and all of those Hornet drivers a big hand. Like we said, folks, it's a learning class. These guys are learning how to work on their cars, set up their cars, learning how to drive their cars. And I guarantee you, by behind every one of them, there's a family that's supporting them. And we do appreciate it. Okay, for your Eco Limited Modified Feature tonight, 15 laps the distance. On the pole, you got the 22T of Tyler Murhead. Outside of him, you got the number nine of Lane Skinner. Row two is gonna be the 4D of Devin Bowles. Outside of him is gonna be the 19R of Dylan Richards. Row three, the 01 of Josh Baker. Outside of him is gonna be the 14 of James Riddle. Row four is going to be the 15 of Gavin Smith. Outside of him is going to be the zero of Keith Burnett. Row five, the 97 of Charlie Alder. Outside of him, the 23 of Ricky Slack. Row six is going to be the 20 of Jack Sutton. That's your lineup. 15 laps of distance. This is your Eco Limited Modified Feature. Once again, we want to thank those watching on Race on Texas tonight. We appreciate them. If you're in the stands and you want to go back and watch these races next week, Go subscribe to RaceOnTexas.com. Pick Big O Speedway as your home track, and you can see all the races out here. And then you can also go to the archives and see the races at other tracks in the Metroplex. And also, if you're a race fan, you need to get my race pass. You can go to your iStore or to the Google Store and get my race pass. It's a free upload. Just sign in with your email address, give a password, and you can follow to see where everybody lines up on the track for the features and for the heat races. And then tomorrow you can go back and look and see the results of tonight, and those will be the official results. As we get ready for this 15 laps of Eco Limited Modified Feature Racing. And you got the 42 of Randall Harper. They're getting the one to go this time by. One to go. Light should go out. They'll go into three. They need to be side by side at the cone. Uh, they'll hit the loud pedal and we'll be off and racing. Uh, green flag in the air, green flag in the air, we're off. Tyler Murhead and Devin Bowles are fighting for first at the moment. Tyler's on the high side. Devin's on the low side. They come out of four. It's too close for me to call. It's above my pay grade there at the flag stand. Devin Bowles leads him into three. Comes out of four with Devin Bowles with the advantage. Lane Skinner in third. James Riddle in fourth. Dylan Richards in fifth. Ricky Slack in sixth. Excuse me, that's going to be. Looks like Tyler Murray had, had the advantage that time. That's Keith Burnett in the zero that's running sixth.
Looks like Charlie Alder's racing him for that position now. Tyler Muirhead is your leader. Devin Bowles second. Lane Skinner third. James Riddle fourth. Charlie Alder is falling back now to seventh as Dylan Richards runs fifth. And of complete lap seven. That's your leader. Tyler Murhead followed by Devin Bowles, Lane Skinner, James Riddle. Now Ken Burnett and Dylan Richards are racing for fifth. Take five to go, five to go here in your feature for the Eco Lambda Modifieds. I'm ready to continue to be your leader. Got caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. Josh Baker won, lost it coming out of two there. It's going to be a green white checker this time. Determine the winner here of your heat, excuse me, your feature for your Eco Limited Modifieds. Lights out, it's up to Tyler when he's ready to go. He hits the loud pedal, we're racing. We got three wide for second, going down the back straightaway. They go into three. Two to go this time by two to go. James Rill is up in second now. Looks like Devin Bowles is gonna be able to go by him. Uh, caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. Yeah. 